So, uh, just out hiking. Not a new trail. You've seen this before. So I'm just doing a selfie uh, video. It's a motorcycle chat. Um, gotta get a little political here, so you might want to cut off if you don't enjoy those topics. But uh, I guess the, the, the first thing I wanted to talk about is that idiot uh, dictator or king or despot that we've got in the, in the White House. Um, because, uh, you know, whether you want to get political or not, you know, he's divided the country now between the vaxxed and the unvaxxed. Um, not sure if I'm supposed to say that word. Uh, this will be on Rumble, so you can always watch this video there if it gets taken down off of YouTube. Probably get a strike uh, for what I'm going to talk about. But uh, you got to think about how politics affects you, right? I mean, uh, look at me. You know, I, I had a real adverse reaction to that uh, anthrax uh, vax and I... Uh, when I was over in um, Kuwait and uh, and then uh, you know I've already had the disease so I've got natural immunity so uh, I'm, I'm high risk from the jab and uh, you know even my doctor said you know he says well I, I reckon he he recommended that I get it but he says that you you know you could have problems with it and I said well what's the point of getting it I've got natural immunity so uh, now so what what's happened to me because you know I'm I'm not really that political because uh, I'm an independent, you know, um, but we got the globalists in charge and I'm talking about the rhinos and the Democrats uh, There's no differentiating between the two of them there. You know, the rhinos are that's what they are Republicans in the name only they're Democrats That's what they ran as like Liz Cheney. She's not a Republican. That's for doggone sure So uh, so anyway, so now what what's happened to me because if, you, if I hadn't been paying attention There's a lot of places. I can't work now, you know a lot of the big companies, uh, you know, they they're gonna say, uh, "Oh, you're you're unvaxed, uh, you can't work here." So, uh, you know, uh, so that's that's why you got to pay attention to politics, people. I hate to say it. I mean, you know, you want to stick your head in the sand and just go and do your job and come home and watch TV at night. Uh, I completely understand that, and I did that for years because the world hadn't gone crazy. <laughs> you know? But let, let's talk about vaxed versus unvaxed now. If you're vaxxed, why did you get vaxxed? So that it would protect you from the virus, right? So you're protected. Other, I mean, unless you don't believe in the vaccine, which of course, you know, I don't. I mean, I do believe in it, but I, I'm, I just can't get it. So you're protected. So whether it's a vaxxed person or an unvaxxed person that's right next to you, it doesn't make any difference. You got the vaccine, so you're protected. And by the way, that's the Trump vaccine, not the Biden vaccine. Uh, so I don't get it. You know, and, and then there's all kinds of misinformation. Boy, I tell you, the fly. Sometimes these flies get on you. I'm going to have to turn around. I was going back deep into the forest, but we can't We can't do that today. It's, uh, it's just too much rain. But I tell you what, man, what a beautiful day here it is in Florida. Oh, my. God, this this is what you live for, man. You suffer through the summer, you know, if you're not a snowbird, and uh, you know, and it, and I say suffer, I still enjoy it, you know. I, thank God, he just bit me on the face. Uh, you know, you, so you suffer through the uh, the summer, and then you come to like September, October, November, December, January, February. I mean, this is when, my God, this state is beautiful, and uh, so anyway, so I guess I get him back to the vax, you know. So if, if how, how is there a division? I mean, why are you letting them divide up our nation based on vax versus unvax? Because it doesn't make a damn difference, right? If you're vaxxed, you're protected. And, and also we've, we've already found out that the, uh, the vax can carry the virus. So, you know, you just won't have as, uh, supposedly you won't have as bad. Now they're talking about booster shots. You gonna do that? I mean, what, every five months you're going to go in and get a booster. I mean, sooner or later, you're going to have to start paying for those booster shots. You know, uh, you think all these vaxes are going to be free forever? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you, but you're going to have to start paying for that. Uh, from everything I've read and everything I've studied, the dang, on it, natural immunity is better than, uh, than the vax. So you make up your own mind. That was the first topic I wanted to talk about. <clears throat> So uh, next thing was, um, uh, you know, the Afghanistan fiasco. 
because you know I don't think the Democrats uh, understand what a shit storm that has been. Oh, I missed my trailer back here. Man, that flies really something else. They get on you. Ah, here we go. Yeah. Uh, you know what a shit storm that is. I mean, 53. I think it's 53 billion in, a, in military equipment, and now that military equipment showing up in uh, Russia, showing up in China, showing up in Iran. You know they're going to be taking apart those Black Hawk helicopters and. Uh, studying our technology and uh what kind of idiot i mean I, he's got to be a chinese spy i'm sorry man that that idiot despot in the in the white house he's got to be a chinese spy because nobody in their right mind would leave 53 dollars 53 billion dollars worth of equipment in in our in the afghanistan i mean you, you you've got, you've got to be a five-year-old child to know that you're not going to leave your military equipment behind oh my god and the democrats are all for it they're all for it. What the hell? I mean, you know, it's like they, 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 they're under some sort of uh, wild, you know, spell or something. I don't even know. I mean, it's it's a mass psychosis. You know, they're, they're all for what happened in Afghanistan. You know, we got Americans still behind enemy lines. We got veterans going over trying to help them. And the State Department is stopping the veterans from getting the, the people out of uh, Afghanistan. And, you know, they're chopping heads, they're shooting people, you know, of course. And then, of course, where are the Democrat women, you know? Oh, they were all for the Me Too movement and all that other bull crap. So now, all of a sudden, we got all these women that are being enslaved, raped. Uh, they have, they can't, uh, they're, they're taken out of schools. Uh, you know, um, I mean, they're, they're, they've shot a lot of them because, uh, uh, hell, I think the, the women's soccer team over there is, is still on the run. I'm not sure if they've been captured yet or not. I mean, as a Democrat, you're all for this stuff? I, I, I guess I just don't get it, man. I mean, I, I know the rhinos and the, and the Democrats are all for this stuff, but, I, you know, that's just, uh, I, to me, you know, I, I don't care if you hate this country. I mean, are you still, I mean, I mean, are you just truly evil? You don't care about all this? Oh man, don't get me started. Let's get on something that's a, that's a, a fun topic. Uh, you know, all this Chinese junk that we buy, you know, just recently, you know, cause it just keeps breaking, you know. My ice maker in the fridge is not working. That's first thing to go. So today the uh, power washer caught on fire. It was a Chinese made, uh, so that's gone. Uh, had, a, had a bidet, man, that fly is really on me. I had a bidet for a while. That broke. So, you know, it's a, it, it just has such a limited lifespan. And we've sold our soul to China, uh, which is going to come back to Hans. You know, you're going to see prices going up. By the way, that's another thing is the dollar. You know, have you seen uh, what's happening to the dollar? You know, the, the, the petrodollar is going to be no more. I mean, that's, uh, that's, that's a given. Everybody's moving away from it. So, uh, Saudi Arabia just... Uh, negotiated uh, military agreement with uh, Russia. So they're cozying up to Russia and trying to get away from the United States. I don't blame them. I, <laughs> after what we did in Afghanistan, I, any country that wants to be a, a friend of the United States, I'd be running like hell right now. You know, if you're in Taiwan, man, I don't know what to tell you. I just say weapon up, uh, cause uh, you're in jeopardy. If you're in South Korea, you, you are definitely in jeopardy in both of those cause Biden, that spineless idiot in the White House, he ain't going to come and help you. I can guarantee that, you know. Uh, and I shouldn't say him. I mean, everybody around him. I mean, look at the look at the generals that we've got. I mean, one general was going, he's going to talk, you know, teach critical race theory in the military. <laughs> that, that spineless idiot that's, uh, what is it? I don't know if he's Secretary of Defense or whatever. I mean, I got, you call that a general? <laughs> that's, that's, uh, I mean, Patton was a general, you know. Uh, Montgomery was a general. I mean, you know, when you look at the generals of the past, Robert E. Lee was a general. Grant was a general. I mean, you know, there's, there's these idiots that we got leading our military right now. Oh my God, they're the dumbest, stupidest people I've ever seen in my life. I mean, I, all they are is political hacks. And you know what, you're, so you're gonna ask, okay, you were in the military 11 years, how did these people get in charge? It's called kissing butt, baby. I don't know if you've ever been to a military uh, dinner or a military ball or any of that stuff. Uh, 
I remember one particular event where I was there and uh, everybody was um, asking, what was the general drinking? And I'm like, wait, what the hell? What, why do you care what the general was drinking, you know? And, uh, but that was the thing, they wanted to suck up, they wanted to kiss ass. And, uh, cause they wanted to make sure they got the same drink as the general. And I'm just like looking around, I'm like, you know, what do you think that's gonna do for you? I mean, is it gonna advance your military? I guess it does, I guess it does advance your military career. Cause these are the people that are getting up in rank and uh, in charge of our military. Cause all they did was kiss ass all the way up the chain of command. You know, I mean, it's not supposed to be about that. It's supposed to be your competence and how well you do your job. You know, how well you fight, uh, how well you lead, you know. But no, no, it's all the ass kissers that are getting up the chain of command in, in, in the military. And uh, until we change that, we're just screwed. I mean, you think that now the soldiers are gonna fight, you know, they'll defend the country, but they're not in charge. And, uh, you know, if you don't have a cohesive uh, force, it's gonna be hard. You know, if we get uh, another terrorist attack, which is coming, I mean, you got a bunch of uh, Afghan terrorists that we just brought into the country and you got the, uh, people pouring across the border. That's another thing Democrats are for. Oh yeah, let's uh, let's open up the border and uh, invite the whole world into the country. Terrorists, fentanyl, uh, drug cartels. I mean, they're all pouring across that border down there in Texas and uh, Arizona and California, you know. So it's, uh, it's inevitable. We're gonna have some major, major attacks here before too long. And that's, and that was my thesis on a previous video that uh, that's going to give the Democrats the excuse to declare martial law so they don't hold the 2022 election because there's no way they're going to win. I mean, are you kidding me? Defund the police? <laughs> that's something that they're for. Oh my God, just don't even get me started. All right, so I just wanted to make a quick talking video. This will be on Rumble. Uh, I'll put it on YouTube. We'll see if they take it down, you know. But I just had to talk about a couple of things here, you know while I'm out getting my exercise. And uh, plus I wanted to try out this camera again. Uh, this is the new um, Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. And I noticed that at the Beg Bass campground, the, the camera was jumping around quite a bit, which I, I tell you, I'm still recovering from that stupid foray. So you guys have a good one. Peace out and always end it. Freedom, oh freedom. Peace. Oh man, you know I always tax off the night. <laughs> Even after I've done my mantra. So the other th last thing I wanted to talk about is I, I hope you see how they're trying to pit American against American because they're trying to de deflect, you know, change the narrative. That's always it. Change the narrative. Uh, they got the big, big tech companies on their side, the corporations on their side. And I'm talking about the globalists, okay? I'm not talking about Democrats or the Biden administration because I mean, you know the globalists are in charge right now and uh, so they you know because they want to deflect what's really going on they don't want you to know uh, so you know you've, you you've you've heard the racism card you know it's always uh, black versus white or white versus Hispanic or you know Indian versus black you know I mean it's uh, so they've been pulling that card and I from what I can tell it's not working too well for them um, so now they're doing the uh, vaxxed versus unvaxxed and I, I just hope you can kind of see the pattern how they they try to divide you you know you're all Americans all right and uh, just remember that uh, I don't give a shit about any of this stuff you know whether you're vaxxed or unvaxxed or you're white or black or Hispanic or red or you know whatever transgender gay I mean who gives a crap you know you're all Americans and uh, don't let them divide you. Don't let these globalists divide you. Uh, you know, they're, they're pulling out all the stops, trying to uh, pit Americans against Americans. And, and uh, rather than uh, let you know what's really going on. And I'm sorry I, to make these videos, but I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, I got to tell you what's going on because nobody else will. Right? I mean, well, if you watch, uh, there's a, let's just talk about some good, commentary if you want to watch Ben Shapiro he's pretty good uh, uh, Dana Lash uh, she's pretty good I miss Rush Limbaugh um, you know uh, Sean Hannity's okay but he, he's like a parrot man he just repeats himself over and over and over and over again um, but you know you still get some news from him uh, he got um, 
Oh, gee. Mark Levin. Um, problem with Mark is uh, <laughs> he's an angry white dude. <laughs> you know, I, I I can only listen to him screech so much. I mean, I understand how he, you know where he's coming from. You know, I mean, it, and I tell you what, he is a smart dude, man. He he he's a, he hits everything from the Constitution standpoint, and uh, so that's always good to hear. Um, so I, I and uh, you know he's fighting as best he can. So you know, there's a lot of places. Uh, I just got up on Getter, G-E-T-T-R, Getter. Uh, you know, that's that's a good place to go. Uh, I'm not on Gab. Um, I'm, I'm, of course, I'm on Parler, and Parler's where I get all my news. I mean, I, you know, you get on Parler and just, you know, subscribe to whatever you want, you know. Um, so I've just, I, all I do is subscribe. I, I rarely post anymore um, because uh, for whatever reason, uh, it says I have uh, 5,000 followers or something like that, but... You know, when I go in, I, you know, you don't, uh, ever since uh, Google and Apple and uh, the tech giants, you know, and Amazon banded together and took down Parler, it's just never been the same. Um, I just don't get any feedback at all. And occasionally I do post there. Um, the, this Getter thing, I, I I don't know, it looks just like Parler to me, um, but I got up there. I, so, you know, get off of Facebook, get off a of tweet. You know, don't quit giving your soul over to the tech giants. Use DuckDuckGo or, uh, well, uh, I you know, for a browser, I use uh, Firefox. Or you can use uh, Brave, uh, you know. Um, it, you know, I do I have a VPN? I should. Uh, I don't. Um, and I just don't have time to set up. I used to have an SSH server that I would tunnel into from hotspots to keep my uh, internet browsing private. And uh, also, when I was in community college, they always had a firewall and I had to bypass the firewall to to get to my home computers and so that's why I had a, an SSH server and of course in my book I taught you how to do that uh, anyway this just video is getting long in the tooth so we'll just cut it off right there but uh, once again uh, you know peace out be free be free you know that's the main thing get out get out of your house go hiking you know today or you know buy a motorcycle man I'm gonna tell you I was nothing Nothing so great as riding a motorcycle, you know. Like today, I, you know, I came here fast and furious. Uh, it was, uh, it was glorious. Uh, luckily, my wife she needed some uh, distilled water, and then I, I recycle, so I took all of my plastic to Publix. They have a container there to put your plastic in, and then I, I also recycle my styrofoam. Uh, you know, all the styrofoam that you get when you go out to eat. Uh, and that, like I said, that's my, my Democrat wife and her sister. That's their favorite things to go out to eat. And uh, they don't appreciate the fact that DeSantis kept uh, all the restaurants open here in Florida for them to be able to do that. But uh, that's okay. You know, someday maybe they'll they'll understand uh, what a great job he's done. Uh, to me, he's the, well, Christy Noem, I guess, would I, I would rate her as the best uh, governor in the country. And then uh, DeSantis would be second. And, of course, you got Abbott in Texas third. Okay, so those are the three that stand out in my mind. Um, so... We do have some great people, some great leaders in this country that are doing a good job. All right, so that's it. Peace out again. Be free.